All right. Good afternoon, folks. What we got on our mind today is down here in this Pearl River swamp, we're going to see if it's white perch will bite. Most of you going to know them as crappie. We call them white perch. I brought about every pole I own, not quite, but I've been watching old Richard Gene, the fishing machine, and he got me so excited about going fishing. I just about spread all my tackle out and just wallered in it. But anyway, I've got one rigged up right here just to fish with a mineral on. And that's what we're going to start with. Where we at down here is on a hole that's pretty deep, this one particular spot. We're going to see if... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy, they said scat. We're going to see if a white perch will bite right here. Y'all stick with us. The little old mineral bucket with a little bitty bottom and a big old top. So I took me a little bucket, stuck it down in a big bucket, and put some feed sacks around it. And that'll help insulate them manners. We just gonna hook them up now. You got a cork and a hook. Yeah, I'm just gonna hook this manner for right now. Hook them two different ways. Right here, I'm just gonna hook him right under that fin back there. About a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch down in him. And I'm gonna stick right here and this is probably that real quick line. I ain't sure what to look at him. A rock bear. We're going to fry him. And some grease. What I call, I, I catch and release. I release them in Lake Wesson oil. <laughs> Now you notice that I ain't releasing fish like a lot of folks do. Uh, I don't do a lot of fishing just for a hobby. When I get, get, get to going fishing, I got eating them on my mind. That's what we after right there, folks. This is what we come for. Now these won't be no just slabs, but that is crappie nonetheless. White perch, that's what we're after. Right there. We didn't bring no dip net with them. That's a little better than the other one, I believe. Tore a big old hole in his lip getting him up. That's a good fish right there. <laughs> but I've caught a bunch like that right there, and I've been throwing them back. Wouldn't you? Y'all don't throw them back. <laughs> he said, "Don't throw them back." Said you wanted to be on YouTube, didn't you? <laughs> Throw him up here. I'll put him in the bucket. There you go. Well, we got the same runner on. We're gonna catch two with him. That's what 
tốt bên này Yeah, I have a nice one there. Really, I need to be. That's a pretty good one there now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I can get the hook out of him. There's one he caught. There's mine. Pretty good. Well, I may go mess up. Now, we got too much tackle in the buggy to be a messed up. Huh? We got too much tackle in the buggy to be a messed up. I know, but I won't mess <laughs> it. He just wants to cut it. They ain't big, but I promise that's good eating right there. Good eating. Mm. He counts for a number, but he ain't hurt. We're going to put him back. He ain't near about big enough. Oh, yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's good eating. That's what we're here for. Went by over there to Richard Coates' and got me some meat. A good change. I got what he had left. He didn't have many left. I got all of them. I might use them up. Some of them dying. I put them in well water. You'd have thought they lived in that well water or spring water. Spring water out of the church over there. where the church used to be. There's a spring in. I stopped and filled my bucket up there. I figured that good crystal clear water would have been good for them men. It kind of Wimpy. Look at that. There he goes. Yeah, buddy. Booyah! All right, now. Oh, tender lips. Not a decent one. What you fishing with now, that white jig? I was. <laughs> it was, as in you lost it? Have we got enough for supper? Yeah. I'm thinking all of them like this. Mm. What are you thinking? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got Well, I hadn't. Look at that. Throw it right up in that tree. I'd be good off. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> well, he thinks he'd tear the tree out of the hook off one. Ooh. What did we get? Nothing. We got part of it. Well, we got the cart. That was it. We got the cart. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna show you a little about what we're doing here we got a bunch of poles over here we ain't even finished with i got all my bad stuff everything else but i got a few hooks left in here without digging down into my hook compartment i think these are number six 
gold hooks that I'm fishing with. Now that where I just stretched that good, I'm gonna come back and uh, cut a little of that off. And fingernail pinches there. Good deal. I didn't know if there's a good one in there. He caught another one of them rock bass. We call them a goggle eye, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at there, what he just caught. That's a good perch. Put him in there. I ain't got enough water in there. I'm gonna let y'all do it, though. We got a pretty good mess. I don't know if you've seen what I just tied. I was talking, I wasn't paying attention. But I'll loop through there, twist it, go back through my loop, and then the loop that that made, I come back through it, if that makes sense to you. I've got another video on my page somewhere showing you how to tie that knot. I tie it on another hook. I don't know what the knot's actually called. I just know it works. He got another little old bitty one. They biting. All right, anyway. I'm gonna put this up for a moment. I got it rigged up where I can get it if I need it. That bit is hanging out for me. We're going to use just a regular old jig. Right here. And probably what I'm going to do is put a cork on that jig. Uh -oh. Dirt daubers has done beat me. Look at the end of my pole. Boy. Maybe right quick of what I'll do. I'll take my hook. Pop that out. Easy enough. Put this two-piece pole back here in line. With stuff up here. Yeah. I got two or three of these little old poles. I bought them at Walmart. They're good poles, though. Ain't no need paying a fortune for something. I can catch fish on a $2 pole. These are about $15. You get the idea. All right. I got to find what I did. I got another tray here full of my other crappy stuff. What I'm looking for is this cork right here. You see this cork? I can just spring load this baby on there right about where I want to. It just kind of clips on there like that. And I can go fishing. I tried this one a while ago. This slip right here. And I don't like it with a crowd. That'll be coming off. It didn't, it didn't do good for me. All right, turn you around, we're gonna catch you some more. All right, I got this jig. We're gonna hung a, one of these dead minners off on the bottom of it. That way we don't waste them. I'll show you how I'm gonna hook that minner. On the cork, I just hook them on the cork, I hook them through the back like this, but with this jig, I go through the bottom 
hang him right like it right there. Dead. He's talking to us. A little child cat. He going in the bucket. Mm. Mm. Going hunting, you're going to have to eat. I don't know that I'm going hunting. I'm having, I'm having a good deal of fun right here I'm fishing. <laughs> like it was nothing, you know what? Yeah. Get this other big dead one right here. I'm gonna hook him the same way. And we were fishing probably about, uh, about two and a half, three foot. We're gonna just fling it back out there. Justin, if you'll let me carry them fish, I'm gonna, I'll go on to the house and start cleaning and have them clean. All right. But I'm gonna just, I'll put them in this bucket. All right. Let's turn the camera around, count them. How many we got in? Ooh, that stick right out in the way. Yeah, it needs to have. I got a, a axe that's going to move. Yeah, guess where's that at? That thing there ain't going to hang something. That spring loaded. <whistles> we going to get rid of it. <laughs> Let me get the back. About to fall off. Stop stick, ain't it? <laughs> ah. You take me out. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we got one. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. You gonna keep that throw it away? I don't care, but we got enough fish without it. I'm gonna put him back. All right. I'm gonna be cleaning them and we'll cook them in the shed. All right. Jay. We're gonna see if we can catch a few more. I may go squirrel hunting, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You don't need nothing I got here. No. I got more junk than I know what to do with. Oh. He's still rigged up with a jig. That's Bobby. See if we can make another night drive over here. Roscoe, we stay in. He's going. Now, with this right here, Bobber and this jig, 
I bump it just a little bit and wiggle that cork a little bit to make it look alive. You gotta work it just a little. You ain't gotta put a lot of action on it, just enough to make it move a little. And you ain't gotta constantly do it. Just every little bit bump it there. But it was good that my daddy come down here and fish with me for a little while. Folks, that right there, man's my hero. I was fortunate to have a good mama and a daddy. Blessed, the Lord bless me. They've been married 50 something years. Still love one another. That man's my hero. Taught me all the good things in life. One of my favorite sayings that he says, always take your short end of the stick because usually that's the best end. And he's usually right. No, in other words, don't take advantage of folks. If they do you wrong, you just go on about your business. Always come out ahead in the long run. That's a good catfish, I believe. But when I say good, everything feels good on these light rods. Look at there. Hey, we white perch fishing, but we what you call hungry fishing. He bites it. He's going in the bucket. Look at that. My little channel cat. What we don't eat, I put them in the freezer, boys. I don't know how we done that. It done it all the same. Now I know good and well I stuck out an ant bed over there. Look at the ants. Look at him. Camera down. Look at them ants crawling all over my boy. Mm mm mm. I gotta get them things off. Little Mexican, one time we was landscaping, he got them all over. The hardest working little man I ever been around my life. I was throwing sod to him just as fast as I could. I was back in my prime then too. I was back in my, I was about 22. I was slinging that sod to him and man, we were rolling. They was building the Silver Star Resort Hotel and Casino. We was landscaping it. I was slinging that side to him. He was on his knees crawling down there, pulling it into place. About that time, I wasn't looking at him. I just knew where he was at. I was frisbeeing. And I was coming off that pallet just... He was, I mean, we were rolling. About that time, he started hollering, Artemigas, Artemigas, Artemigas. I didn't know what Artemigas meant. I know now. I looked over there. He was shucking clothes right down there to, because it's on the side of 16 Highway. <laughs> they was all over him. I felt sorry for him. We got them off of him, though, and got him cleaned up. All right, I hung him that time, boys. I do not know what we have, but, boy, it is a fight. A good catfish. I knew it was something. Ooh, he's about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Let's see if I can get up this bank here, folks. Whoa. Now, he ain't no monster by no means. But for down here in this swamp, man, well, fish don't just get huge. And it ain't that fish won't get huge here. We got so many otters that work on them, and otters going to catch a big fish first. Folks, that's a good catfish down here. That's good eating right there. Look at him. Talk to him. Say, wonka, wonka, wonka. Wonka, wonka, wonka. <laughs> now, I like the white perch fish. I like the catfish. When you can come down here and catch them both in the same trip, I can, I can go kill squirrels anytime. Roscoe may not can. I can. But look, we fixing to go back to the white perch. I'm going to cut the camera off, but we're going to tune in there a little bit when we go to frying them up. And if we go squirrel hunting here in a minute, 
I tune y'all in on that. But thank y'all so far for watching, man. Uh-oh. I believe Roscoe done tree. He got something on his mind up there. this on camera but y'all got to see this slab I just caught that is a good slab right there for down here in this swamp I'm standing in an ant bed I reckon that's a good fish I mean I don't have a yeah I do I forgot I do I do I do have a way to measure him I'll show y'all right quick you see the top of this cooler? We're gonna get his nose right there on the end. All right. We're down here at 13 inches. Nose on the mark, and he flop. That's a good crappie right there for down here in this swamp. We're gonna see if we can catch another one of them now. First thing I do, pop that fan off. No. take these skinners and pull this hide off and then I don't waste none of that extra meat. I'm bad to get down to it. But I was going to show you that big old slab. That thing I'm 
put you on YouTube.